Good morning, bookworms. Welcome to another vlog. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm so glad you found me. Welcome. My name's Ange. I'm your very casual librarian. I'm actually a librarian in training, but I'm working in the public library system in Melbourne, uh, in Australia. I'm also a mum of two and a master's student and an avid bookworm, as I'm sure you are too. So as most of you know, I work in the public library system. It is my dream job. I love it. I go to work looking forward to every shift. It really is a brilliant job and I highly recommend it. However, you know, like all jobs, there are things that I don't like. And today I'm going to sh share with you my top five things that I I hate about working in a library and working in the public library system. So if you haven't already, make yourself something nice and cozy and warm to drink. Put on your favourite cozy jumper or sweater and let's get on with the vlog. <music> So just before I start, I wanted to share with you some things I bought yesterday. Most of you know that my favorite flowers are bluebells. You can tell from this is my favorite mug. It's a bluebell mug. I also named my dog bluebell. Um, they're my favorite flower. I adore them and I wait every year for springtime to come so that they pop out in my garden. But at the moment it's autumn so as you can see out the back, it's, it's kind of gray and, you know, my tomatoes are starting to die off and there's a lot of fallen leaves in my garden. Um, but yesterday, my daughters and I, my oldest one went for a point shoe fitting for ballet and we had a bit of time to kill before her appointment because you have to actually go in into the store and get fitted properly because obviously point shoes are fairly specialized so you need a proper person to fit you so while we were waiting at the mall wandering around waiting for her appointment we wandered into the body shop and the body shop being an English company they're coming into their spring season now even though it's coming into autumn here in Australia and look at their new scent <laughs> and I thought oh I'm not really a perfume florally perfume person but usually the perfume that I wear is like if I wear any it's like a rose essential oil kind of smell like it's it's not really I don't like smells like jasmine or you know that kind of thing that kind of really florally tickle the back of your throat kind of flower kind of smell but this is oh it's so pretty it's it's floral but it's kind of a green fragrance, if that makes sense. So it's it's really fresh. So it smells exactly like bluebells in spring. It smells like a bluebell forest, actually. You know, when you walk into a forest and it's that cool smell, that's what it smells like. It's just gorgeous. So I couldn't resist. So I bought it. And I'm not, I'm not paid to advertise this or anything. I'm not sponsored by the body shop or anything like that. I just really like their products and this smells amazing. And also, because it's starting to get colder here, I bought myself a pair of slippers from Muji. <laughs> so um, it was, it's starting to get cold and our floor in our house is notoriously freezing. It's badly insulated and it's like polished wood, but old, that's a really old creaky floor and it is freezing. Some days when we get out of bed and you put your feet on the floor for the first time, it's so cold, it's burny cold. <laughs> so <laughs> so these, these live right next to my bed in winter because I have to put my feet into slippers the first time I get out of bed. And if anyone who knows me will tell you, I'm always barefoot in my house. I love, I hate wearing shoes. Like I go to work and I put on my work shoes and the first thing I do when I get home is kick my shoes off because I like to be barefoot in my house. But in winter, it is too cold. It's too cold here in the ranges in Melbourne. It's 
freezing in winter. Some days the floor is like icy burny cold. <laughs> so, so let's get into today's vlog. As you guys know, undoubtedly, I have my dream job. I think I have your dream job. A lot of you, a lot of you have told me that you dream to work in a library or to become a librarian, or you're currently studying to be a librarian as I am. Um, it's a degree to be a full-fledged capital L librarian. You have to do a information services um, degree. I'm doing a master of information services, or sometimes it's called a master of library and information services. So it's an MLIS or an MIS. Um, I'm doing an MIS and it is my master's after my teaching degree. So I'm doing that now. It's quite involved. The content can be a bit dry sometimes, but I'm still really enjoying it. It's great. There are five things that oh, drive me mental about this job sometimes. And oh Lord, honestly, at least one of them happens a day. And at that point, you'll find me like just doing this face. Like, and my colleagues as well say they hate these things around the job as well. So here's my five, top five things I hate about working in a public library. Number one, the first thing I hate about working in the library is that you never finished. Like there are jobs in the library that just never get finished. There's no finished. It's a constant job. And one of those jobs is shelving books and tidying shelves. Honestly, like you can tidy a shelf and align it and put everything back in order and turn around and almost a minute later it's chaos again and like customers are generally pretty good they know how the alphabet works like they know how the shelving works they'll put things back but every day is a constant battle to keep those <laughs> items in order and it's never finished so if you're one of those people who likes to complete tasks and like tick off your to-do list like I am, that job you can never tick off because it's never done. It's never finished. Like you can keep tidying forever and it will keep getting untidy and being a mess. And it drives me bonkers because sometimes I've literally just been to the shelf and I walk away and it looks stunning. It looks perfect. The books are all aligned. It looks great. I'll go and get a trolley, go and get my hold sheet and I walk back and it's like we've had an earthquake in the library, <laughs> especially in the kids section. Oh my gosh, in the junior section. It, oh, it's like every time you go to find a book in the junior section, especially in picture books, you find 10 others that have to be reshelved. The tidying and shelving never ends and it's so frustrating. <laughs> so if you like to complete tasks, you're going to be very frustrated working in a library, I'm sorry to say. Okay, my second thing that I hate about working in a public library is how reliant we are on technology and how frustrating it is when that technology lets us down. And it does all the time. I don't know how many times I've had a customer standing next to me and the photocopier just has a tantrum and I don't know why. It's like the demon of the photocopier just comes out and decides that we're not gonna photocopy anything today even though yesterday it was working perfectly fine. Why does that happen? What is that? Like, and we rely on these library management systems or LMSs as we call them. And sometimes they just bug out and they just go on strike and they refuse to work. And there's nothing you can do. Like you just have to wait. And our technology uh, repair people are offsite. So we have to kind of call them we can do a certain amount in-house in ourselves, but 
a lot of our IT stuff is off-site, so we have to call someone and you have to put in a um, a claim to sort of that something has gone wrong and you need someone to come and help and then they phone you and they want to know what exactly what's happening and then they try and fix it remotely and then if they can't fix it remotely they send someone in and it's just this process or you know the internet falls off and we can't do anything so we're writing stuff down and customers are standing there looking at us like isn't this like literally what you do and we're like hmm yeah yeah, no, we do. It's embarrassing for us too. Mm, this is awkward. It's just technology letting you down is just so frustrating. And it doesn't, I wouldn't, yeah, it, it, I would say it's an everyday occurrence to some degree. The big problems don't happen every day. That They're pretty rare. The big, you know, we can't fix them. We have to get our IT boffins to come in and, and actually send a person in to come and look at it for us. That's pretty rare. But like the niggly little things, they happen all the time and it's so frustrating and it can be as simple as why isn't this scanner working? Why isn't this on? Oh, is that unplugged? Where, where is this pl even plugged in? What cord goes to this? Like, oh, so annoying, so annoying. Oh. Okay, so the third thing that I hate about working in the public library system and working in libraries. And this one is pretty specific to me because I am a tall person. I'm a tall lady. I am 175 centimeters tall or five nine-ish in the old system. So I'm tall and so much happens at ground level. <laughs> so I am constantly very awkwardly, like a giraffe getting up and down off the floor in the library so much. Like it's shelving things or looking for things on the bottom shelf or like struggling to find stuff that's fallen down the back of the shelf and is kind of on the floor, but sort of wedged in the back. Something rolling under the shelves. I'm constantly getting down on my hands and knees to that those bottom shelves in the library, and it drives me crazy because it's so awkward. <laughs> and sometimes I hurt my knees, and like you know, I always got us. I've always I've, my left foot. I don't know what it is about my left foot. Foot it just it hates getting down and up off the floor. I have this like burning sensation that happens across the top of my foot because it is just sick of me having to get to those bottom shelves. And it's like even looking for things on the bottom shelf, you kind of have to, you're like down on your knees and you're like looking in the bottom shelf and then you're kind of looking along and then you're like, oh, it's up there and I just can't reach it. And you have to kind of crawl along the floor and like reach in. It's a tall person's nightmare, honestly. I mean, there's probably the short person equivalent is probably the top shelves, I would assume. Um, I can get to the top shelves easily, uh, but our top shelves only sort of come to like my nose level, I think. So they're not super high. Like there's nothing, because of our H&S, we're not supposed to reach above our heads to get anything down because that's kind of dangerous. If you drop a book on your face or, you know, the corner of a book hits you in the head, that's kind of can be pretty dangerous or it could get you in the eye. So in our library and lots of libraries these days, none of the shelves really go above like there. They're all kind of quite easy to reach, but they still go down to the floor. The shelves still go down to the floor. And so if you're a tall person, let me tell you, let me tell you straight away, you are going to be on your knees, on your hands and knees, on all fours so much during the day working in a library, especially if you work in the children's section. <sighs> yeah, hate it. <laughs> so the fourth thing that I absolutely hate about working in a library is how thirsty you get all day. You get so dry mouth, or I do, and I know my colleagues do too, because we always talk about it. We have to have water bottles handy at all times because I don't know, I think it's a combination of the fact that the environment is kept purposefully kind of dry because, you know, 
mold and moisture is the enemy of paper and books, you know, like we really, and technology and computers, right? So we try and keep the environment really dry. And, you know, there's a lot of carpet in libraries. There's a lot of dust. There's a lot of, you know, books are dry, paper. And the air conditioning too, we try to keep that fairly warm because a lot of our customers are very, very young or very, very old or they're vulnerable. So we try and keep the library at a fairly steady, warm temperature. And in summer, like we have the air conditioning going constantly as well. So we're trying to keep that climate quite controlled just for our clients and our products and stuff like that. But as a result, because you're constantly talking to people all day in a customer service role in a library, and because you're in that dry envi environment, I can drink at work in one shift. I reckon I drink at least two liters. Like I have this bottle, this bottle here, and that's a liter bottle. And I empty that at least twice in a shift because you just are constantly dry mouthed for some reason, or I am, I feel like I'm cotton mouth all day and it's a horrible feeling. You just constantly are like, <laughs> like the, that character in Doctor Who where she's just skin strung up and she's like, moisturize me. That's how I feel <laughs> in the library some days. I, I feel like desiccated, like a husk when I leave the library. And like, I live in Melbourne, so, you know, it's, it's fairly, it's a fairly kind of wet, cool environment. But for some reason in that workplace, oh my gosh, it's a constant battle against dehydration. Like you, and you can't get enough. You can't drink enough. It's just, it's constant. So yeah, that's, that's something that's really annoying. So if you're a person that's like got dry skin or dry eyes or like uh, find it hard to keep hydrated, <laughs> it's worse in the library for some reason. It's just so bad. <laughs> and the fifth and final thing that is a hazard that I don't like about working in the public library system, I think it probably would be the same if you work in any library system or even a bookstore or a secondhand bookstore. My colleagues all agree with me on this one. Everyone I've spoken to agrees is how easy it is to let your to be read pile get out of control. It's so easy. You become a book hoarder like that, especially in a library when the books are free. And because we have access to the back end of that system, so we can order whatever we like and, you know, get it sent over pretty quickly. And we see all the new books you've seen. You probably, if you're not new to this channel and you've been here for a while, You've probably seen my YouTube shorts where I open boxes of books. It's my favorite thing is to get my first, my hands on those brand new books first and be able to see them before they go out into the library. And I get to have first peek of them and first sniff of them. And so you see brilliant books that you want to read all day, every day. And it's just too tempting. It's like if you have a book addiction, and you probably do if you're here, if you're honest with yourself, you probably do. I do. I have a book addiction. So it is so hard for me to be restrained and not borrow every good book that I see. So my to be read pile my tbr pile that's i have a bedside table next to my bed here with a little cupboard in it last year it got ridiculous i think at one point i had 70 items out on my library card that is ridiculous there's no way i'm going to be able to read 70 things like 70 novels before I have to return them. I was like, this is not fair <laughs> to all of the other people who are waiting on these items, especially if other librarians in this job are doing the same thing. And some of them are as well. Like we all try to be restrained, but we're all book hoarders. We're all book addicts. So that's why last year, if you've been here for a while, I set myself a no book borrowing period where I only read books that I own and I had nothing on my library card except 
books that I'd borrowed for my course, like non-fiction books that I'd borrowed for uni. I had no novels or anything like that, no leisure reading. And so I, I lasted until about February this year. So it was about five or six months that I did not borrow anything for myself to read. And it was so hard. I cannot tell you because even as you're returning books that other people have borrowed, I mean, the willpower that it took for me not to borrow anything was like ridiculous. I was like, you know, ugh, an alcoholic working at a bottle shop, like it was ridiculous. So finally I've allowed myself to start borrowing again, but the restraint that I have to have every day at the library because it's so easy to over borrow. It's so easy to just hoard great piles and stacks of books next to your bed because they're all so good. They all look so good. And the blurbs on the back and the beautiful covers and the book recommendations. There's just, you know what? And some days it feels completely overwhelming. Like I have not got enough time in my lifetime to read everything that I want to read to read all the good books in the world that I want to read and that's so sad like so I have a very full bookshelf I have one in here in the bedroom I have one out in the dining room my husband is an avid reader he has a huge book collection um he reads mainly fantasy and sci-fi though so we our books collections are quite different but I also have this little um, bedside table here where I often have books stacked on to read. And I have been so, so restrained bookworms. I really have. At the moment, I only have three books out on my card. So for me, that is super restrained. I have three books out and I think I have one on hold that's coming and that's it. The battle is real. The struggle is real. It's a daily struggle. If you are a book lover and a book addict working in a bookshop or a library, it's hard. It's hard. It is so hard. So that's my fifth thing that I find really hard and I hate about working in the library. So that's it, bookworms. Now you know my five things that I actually really hate about working in the library, the really hard things about my job that I don't enjoy. Um, every job has things that you don't enjoy and I am so privileged to be able to work in my dream job, in my dream workplace and absolutely adore my job. I love it so much every day and I always enjoy going to work but Ah, uh, as with everything, there's always things that you struggle with or things that just drive you nuts. And those are my five things. And having spoke to my colleagues, spoken to my colleagues, uh, they seem to agree that those five things drive them crazy too. So <laughs> if you're working in the public library system or in a library or a bookshop, you're probably nodding along with these <laughs> things. <laughs> but don't let it put you off. It really is an amazing career working in libraries. I highly recommend it. And I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. Um, I hope you've done something really, really nice for yourself today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and send all your bookworm friends over. Um, I'd really love their company as well as I love yours. I love reading all your comments down below. It really just encourages me to keep doing this and I really enjoy doing this so I want to keep doing it and thank you so much for your support. If you'd like to tip me as a creator you can buy me a coffee over at buymeacoffee.com. Um, I'll put the QR code here somewhere and um, the address is buymeacoffee.com forward slash very dot casual dot librarian. I'd love your support over there. I also have two membership tiers where I add extra content and sometimes give them early access to these vlogs as well uh, as just extra posts and information and pictures from my day at the library, uh, little bits and pieces of extra content for those guys over there too. Right, 
So I'm going to go and edit this thing and put it on YouTube. I'm a bit late this week. Um, it's school holidays, so big one and little one are home at the moment on holidays. We've done a few bits and pieces. So I'm a bit late editing this one. So I'm going to go and do that right now. And I, I need to refill my cup of tea as well before I do that. So I hope you're having a beautiful day. Thanks so much for being here. And I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.